Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I'm Tanvi Taneja with the Midday News. The headlines. India lodges strong protest with Pakistan at the unprovoked act of aggression including violation of its airspace. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says the nation stands as one at a time when the enemy is trying to destabilize the country. Vice President M. Venkaiah Naidu urges the world community to come together to fight against terrorism, saying all political parties should speak in one voice against the menace. Prime Minister to confer Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize in New Delhi today. Supreme Court stays its February 13th order directing states to evict 11.8 lakh illegal forest dwellers. And Delhi High Court dismisses Associated Journals Limited's plea challenging earlier order to vacate its premises in New Delhi. New Delhi has lodged a strong protest with Islamabad at the unprovoked act of aggression, including violation of airspace by the Pakistan Air Force and targeting of Indian military posts. In a statement, the External Affairs Ministry yesterday said the acting High Commissioner of Pakistan was summoned and a strong protest was lodged. The statement said, Pakistan's act was in contrast with India's non-military anti-terror preemptive strike at a Jaisi Mohammed JEM camp at Balakot in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. It was conveyed that India reserves the right to take firm and decisive action to protect its national security, sovereignty and territorial integrity against any act of aggression or cross-border terrorism. New Delhi also demanded immediate and safe return of an Indian Air Force pilot who is in the custody of Pakistan following an aerial engagement by air forces of the two countries. It has been made clear to Pakistan that no harm comes to the Indian defense personnel. The US, the UK and France have moved a fresh proposal in the UN Security Council, UNSC, to designate Pakistan-based terror group JEM's chief, Masood Azhar as a global terrorist. France will be putting forward the proposal to ban Masood Azhar after it assumes the presidency of the powerful UNSC tomorrow. The listing will subject him to global travel ban, asset freeze and an arms embargo. The Security Council Sanctions Committee will have 10 working days to consider the fresh proposal submitted by the three members. It is the fourth such bid at the UN in the last 10 years to list Azhar as a global terrorist. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said, the nation stands as one at a time when the enemy is trying to destabilize the country. Interacting with BJP workers across the country via video conferencing, the Prime Minister said, the nation is grateful to all those who are protecting it. और सीमा के पार भी अपना पराक्रम दिखा रहा है पूरा देश आज एक है और हमारे जवानों के साथ खड़ा है दुनिया हमारे कलेक्टिव विल को देख रही है हमारी सेनाओं के सामर्थ्य पर हमें भरोसा है और इसलिए बहुत आवश्यक है कि कुछ भी ऐसा न हो जिससे उनके मनोबल पर आंच आए मिस्टर मोदी फर्दर सेड that the nation is grateful to all those who are protecting it and it is because of them that India can reach new levels of development. The Prime Minister added that the entire nation is with them and the world is seeing India's willpower. When the enemy is trying to destroy India, when the enemy is trying to destroy India, then the one thing is that our progress is stopped, our progress is stopped, our country is stopped, our country is stopped. In front of this goal, हर भारतीय को दीवान बन करके चट्टान बन करके खड़ा होना है उन्हें दिखाना है कि न ये देश रुकेगा न देश की प्रगति थमेगी देश की सुरक्षा और सामर्थ्य का संकल्प लेकर हमारा जवान सीमा पर डटा हुआ है मिस्टर मोदी एडिट that India is going to attain even more strength and development in the times to come he said hard work is required in all sectors our correspondent reports Mr. Narendra Modi interacted with BJP workers and volunteers from 15,000 locations across the country. It was organized under the Mera Booth Sabse Mazboot program. The party has claimed 
that it is the world's largest video conference which is aimed at mobilizing BJP workers ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Several union ministers and BJP leaders were present in different locations of the country to participate in this event. BJP President Amit Shah was present in the Delhi BJP office. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu has said the world community should come together to fight against terrorism. Mr. Naidu said terrorism should be put down by joint and concerted efforts. Addressing the third edition of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's summit on innovation and governance in New Delhi today, Mr. Naidu said the political parties should speak in one voice against terrorism and support the nation and its armed forces. He said those who are funding terror networks must be punished. The Vice President also urged the young generation to come up with new ideas and innovations and contribute to the country's growth story. On the occasion, Mr. Naidu presented the Kalam Innovation in Governance Award. This is All India Radio giving you the news. स्कूल की जब हुई छुट्टी हम बच्चों ने ये बीड़ा उठाया आने वाले चुनाव का हर पहलू एक नाटक के जरिए समझाया हर नागरिक जो जनवरी एक तक पूरा करेगा अठारह साल वो करवाए अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन हर हाल और हर योग्य मतदाता को चेक करना है वोटर लिस्ट में अपना नाम क्योंकि वही मतदाता वोट देख कर आएंगे जो अपना नाम वोटर लिस्ट में पाएंगे तो समय रहते पंजीकरण करना और वोटर लिस्ट में अपना नाम चेक करना भूल लेना इस महाद्योहर एक भी वोटर छूटे न वेरीफाई और रजिस्टर ऑन एन बी एस सी डॉट इन और कॉल वोट रहे वन नाइन फाइव सिक्स भारत निर्वाचन आयोग द्वारा जनहित में जारी नमस्ते मेरे गांव के युवा अब खूब तरक्की कर रहे हैं पूछो कैसे गांव के जो युवक युवतियां पढ़ लिख कर भी बेरोजगार थे अब कौशल प्रशिक्षण हासिल कर विभिन्न नौकरियां करते हुए अपनी पहचान बना रहे हैं और ये सब मुमकिन हुआ है भारत सरकार की दीन दयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण कौशल्य योजना के कारण जिसके तहत एक कौशल प्रशिक्षण केंद्रों में ग्रामीण युवाओं को रोजगार आधारित प्रशिक्षण दिया जा रहा है कौशल पंजी ऐप में अब तक तेरह लाख बीस हजार ग्रामीण युवा अपना पंजीकरण करवा चुके हैं युवाओं को एजुकेशन के साथ ही स्किल की ट्रेनिंग मिले इसका ध्यान रखा जा रहा है आप भी कौशल पंजी ऐप द्वारा दीनदयाल उपाध्याय ग्रामीण कौशल्य योजना में रजिस्टर कर अपना कौशल निखारें और रोजगार पाएं। ग्रामीण विकास मंत्रालय भारत सरकार वेलकम बैक यूर लिस्निंग टू द मिड डे न्यूज The Supreme Court today stayed its February 13th order directing 21 states to evict 11.8 lakh illegal forest dwellers whose claims over the land have been rejected by the authorities. The Apex Court directed the state governments to file affidavit giving details about the process adopted in rejecting the claims. The court posted the matter for further hearing on 10th of July. The center had rushed to the top court for modification of the order saying the scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers recognition of forest rights act 2006 was a beneficial legislation and should be construed liberally to help the extremely poor and illiterate people who are not well informed of their rights and procedures under the law The Delhi High Court today dismissed National Herald Publisher Associated Journals Limited AJL's plea challenging a single judge order to vacate its premises at ITO in New Delhi. The court rejected AJL's appeal in which it had challenged the center's decision asking it to vacate the ITO premises. The AJL had appealed against the single judge's 21st December 2018 order that directed it to vacate the premises within 2 weeks. A Delhi court today directed Rajiv Saxena who had moved a plea to become an approver in the 3600 crore rupees Augusta Westland money laundering case to record his statement before a magistrate court Special judge Arvind Kumar marked Saxena's plea to be recorded on Saturday The court had asked the enforcement directorate to file its response by today However special public prosecutor argued that the agency will file its reply after Saxena's disclosure statement was recorded before a different court Saxena had moved an application yesterday to be an approver in the case. He was earlier granted bail by the court on medical grounds after perusing reports submitted by Ames. You're listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. Mm. Mhm. Wo to nahi sakta chote.
पर हुआ तो है ना भाई साहब एक बार सूरज पश्चिम से निकल सकता है मगर आर्थिक आधार पर आरक्षण इस देश में मिलना नामुमकिन है भाई साहब मुमकिन है वरना कभी इस देश के संविधान में ऐसा सुधार हुआ था कि किसी का आरक्षण हटाए बिना बाकी गरीबों को दस परसेंट मिले हा? नहीं तो यही तो मतलब अब गरीबों की जीत भी मुमकिन है सही कहा भाई साहब प्रधानमंत्री जी ने नामुमकिन में से ना हटा दिया है तभी तो नामुमकिन अब मुमकिन है Prime Minister Narendra Modi will confer the Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga Award for Science and Technology to the awardees in New Delhi today. The award will be conferred for the years 2016, 2017 and 2018. Mr Modi will also address the gathering on the occasion. The Shanti Swarup Bhatnaga Prize is the most coveted national recognition bestowed upon young scientists and engineers to honor their research and developmental work in India. It was first instituted in 1957 to honor the eminent scientist Dr Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar who was also the founder director and the chief architect of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR. The Prime Minister will open the Construction Technology India 2019 on Saturday in an exclusive interview to All India Radio News Secretary Housing and Urban Affairs Durga Shankar Mishra said an ecosystem has been created in the country to get the best construction technology from across the globe tune into the fm gold channel of all india radio at 9:30 tonight to listen to the full interview in punjab bjp will fight three seats and shiromani akali dal on 10 constituencies in the upcoming lok sabha elections the seat sharing agreement was finalized during a meeting between bjp president amit shah and sad leader sukhbir singh badal in new delhi today the the two parties had contested on the same number of seats in the 2014 general elections in uttar pradesh the election commission of india is holding a high level review meeting on poll preparedness with top bureaucrats and police officers in lucknow The commission led by Chief Election Commissioner Sunil Arora is on a 3-day visit to the state to take stock of preparedness for general elections. The Chief Election Commissioner is accompanied by two election commissioners, Ashok Lavasa and Sushil Chandra. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj will reach Abu Dhabi this evening to take part in the Organization of Islamic Cooperation or IC meet. In the 2-day conference, the foreign ministers will discuss a range of issues pertaining to peace and stability in the muslim world as well as the integration and cooperation among the oic members more from our correspondent external affairs minister shushma swaraj will attend it as the guest of honor india called the invitation a welcome recognition of the presence of 185 million muslims living there and of their contribution to its pluralistic ethos and of india's contribution to the islamic world post pulwama and in the light of the escalated tension the presence of india as the guest of honor at oic may add to the discomfort of pakistan the pulwama attacks have been condemned not only worldwide but by many of the muslim nations including UAE and Saudi Arabia Kanchan Prasad AIR News Dubai The United States and North Korea have failed to reach a formal deal at the Hanoi summit Talking to reporters after the summit US President Donald Trump said the talks ended with no agreement after he refused North Korean demand to lift all international sanctions Earlier the White House in a statement said Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong Un discussed various ways to advance denuclearization and economic driven concepts and the respective teams look forward to meeting in the future and now before we end here are the headlines once again india lodges strong protest with pakistan at the unprovoked act of aggression including violation of its airspace prime minister narendra modi says The nation stands as one at a time when the enemy is trying to destabilize the country. Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu urges the world community to come together to fight against terrorism, saying all political parties should speak in one voice against the menace. Prime Minister to confer the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Award in New Delhi today. Supreme Court stays its February 13th order directing states to evict 11.8 lakh illegal forest dwellers. And Delhi High Court dismisses Associated Journals Limited's plea challenging earlier order to vacate its premises in New Delhi. And with that we end the midday news.